Before the combines roll in the autumn, farmers may begin to wonder what a particular cornfield may yield. Besides just a natural curiosity of what their hard work will produce, yield estimates can help farmers with marketing decisions or to figure grain storage needs. Estimating corn yield is a fairly easy process that you can start near the end of August. A few simple tools that are required are a tape measure, a calculator, paper, and something to write with. There are also apps for your electronic device and online tools designed to help with estimating yield potential. Now, let's follow Clark McGrath, an Iowa State University field agronomist, into the field as he explains how to estimate yield. Once we're in the field, what we need guys to do is measure off one one thousandth of an acre. And to do that, if we had a measuring tape, we could measure off in a 30 inch row, that's 17 feet, 5 inches. But you just measure that off and then count the number of harvestable ears. We don't want to count blanks, we don't want to count ears that are too small. We want a normal harvestable ear. And so in 17 feet 5 inches, a lot of guys would find, let's say, 30,000 ears per acre. So what we're going to do is count that up. We're going to find about 30 harvestable ears. Step two is pick about five of those ears. And I went ahead and picked one a little bit ago. And what we want to do is count the number of rows long. And we try to keep from counting the tip kernels that may or may not make it through the combine. Uh, you can see that they're usually a little bit smaller. So I'll go about five or six down and start there. And we'll count how many kernels long the plant or the, the ear is. And once we have that number, write it down in the book beside your uh, number of ears per acre. Break that in half. Count the girth of your ear. So for example here, we'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we've got about a 16 around ear. So we have five of those from our sample, right? So we take those five ears, average the number of kernels per ear, take that times the number of ears we find in our 17 feet 5 inches. So let's just say that that was 30. So we'll take 16 around times, say there were 35 kernels, times 30 ears. You do the math on that, and that gives you a pretty big number. So from there, the argument is how many kernels in a bushel, because we're dividing by kernels in a bushel to get that final number. Most years, I say 90,000. In a dry year, you may say 100,000. In a great year, you may say 85,000. But the bottom line is you have to pick a number that you're comfortable with that represents kernel size. Do the division on that, and that should give you your rough bushels per acre for a hand yield check. I always tell guys they can be off 10 or 15%, but it gives you a ballpark guesstimate. And that, in a nutshell, is how we do it.